Good morning guys, welcome back to ABC. This week, right here in the building, we've got the wonderful Explorers Group and they are exploring all about a man who trusted God and obeyed him. And we're going to learn about him too. Hey everyone, so this week we're doing our Play-Doh Challenge. We've got the lovely Rosie. She's one of our bank alumni and she's popped in to see us today. Hello. <laughs> and, and Rosie, doing our Play-Doh Challenge this week is this story. And you guys at home are going to guess what she's making. Rosie, you ready? Yes. Ready? Go. everybody it's time for our bible story this week it's called a message for joseph and it's from the new testament one night joseph had a dream it's true an angel told him mary is going to have a very special baby the baby is God's own son. You must call him Jesus. Joseph loved Mary. He was happy to marry her and help look after the special baby. The Roman Emperor wanted to find out how many people lived in the country where Mary and Joseph lived. So, he ordered everybody to travel back to the place where they had been born. Joseph and Mary went on a long journey from their home to a town called Bethlehem. Mary was very tired. Her baby would soon be born. But lots of other people had got there first. All the hotels were full. There was nowhere for Joseph and Mary to stay. A kind hotel keeper let them rest in his stable. And that is where Jesus, God's son, was born. Wow, that's such a good story. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Hi everyone, so this week we're thinking about Joseph, who was Jesus' earthly dad. Remember, Jesus' real dad is God, but God handpicked Joseph to be Jesus' stepdad here on earth. And he handpicked him because of some of the qualities that Joseph had. Now, remember, when Mary found out that she was going to have God's son, it was a big deal. In our world just now, it's not strange, is it, to know somebody who's pregnant and that isn't married. But at that time, it wasn't the done thing. You had to be married before you had a baby. 
and this wasn't Mary's story. It was a big deal. She was in danger. Joseph, when he found out, didn't want her to get into any trouble, so he was going to break off the engagement quietly. That night he had a dream, and in that dream an angel came to visit him, and the angel told him that it was okay, that he could and should marry Mary because she was having God's son, and Joseph was to help raise God's son, and he was to call his son Jesus. So when Joseph woke up, he knew that he had to do as God had asked him, even though his friends and his family would have thought it very strange to be marrying Mary. He did it. He went God's way. And throughout uh, the things that we hear about Joseph, we know that he goes God's way because there's two other stories in the Bible where he has a dream and God tells him to do something and he does it. Joseph is someone who listens to God, who trusts God and obeys him. That's something that we're asked to do as well if we're part of Jesus' team, to trust God and to obey Him. How do we do that? Well, I think it helps if we get to know God really well, because the more that we know God, the more that we can trust Him. And we get to know God by looking at our Bible and looking at Jesus' life. And He tells us who God is and how to live God's way. So keep tuning in to our CYP at home. Come along to the live sessions when you can. And let's learn together what it is to trust and obey God, just like Joseph did. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, Claude. So today's challenge is all about fathers and sons. Because you're doing about Joseph, aren't you? And, yeah. and uh, Joseph, Mary and Jesus. So we've got some famous fathers here. There you go, can you see them? Bye. Okay, there's four. And then there's four more over there. And all you've got to do is match them with the right son. So we get fathers and sons together. And here is a picture, or the pictures, of all of the sons of those fathers. Do you think you can do that? Um, I think so. Right, I'm starting with this one because I know who he is. He is in the royal family and is called Prince William. So I need to find someone else who's in the royal family. It's not him, it's not him, it's not him. No, it's definitely not him. It's him! He's the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles. They're both princes, they can go together. Right, next one. Now this one is called Scott Eastwood. Now I know some other people called Eastwood and they're called Nicky and Mike. I wonder if he's related to them. But I can't see Mike Eastwood on any of these pictures. Let's have a look. Hmm, he doesn't look like him. It's definitely not him. Um, I think he looks like him. I think we'll go with this one. I don't know who that is, but they can go together. Right, this one, he is the Prime Minister and his name is Boris. Look at his hair. It's almost as fuzzy as mine. Now, I've seen his dad on the television, so I know exactly what he looks like. And he's over here. Look, look at him in his nice red tie. Isn't it lovely? They can go together. Right, well, I don't know this guy's name, but I know his face because he looks just like his dad. And his dad must be Jude Law who's over here looking very dapper on the red carpet. Look, don't they just look the very same as each other? I know this smiley face. His name is Roman Kemp and he was on I'm a Celebrity last year. He did very well and he was a very nice person. And his dad is Martin Kemp from Spandau Ballet and he is gold. Oh no, wait. He's a bit silver now. 
Right, this man looks like one of the James Bonds that I've watched at home. Now, what's his name? He is Rosman, something like that. Um, but I don't think that's him because I've seen Piers Rosman in Mamma Mia and he's over here just like that. That's not a very good picture of him. Poor Piers Brosman. Dare can look at them, they look the same. Right, I've got two left um, and I've never seen him before in my life and he looks super cool so his dad must be super cool too. So, well, there's two dads left and one of them is David Beckham and he's super cool. So I'm going to put them together. And I've no idea who this guy is. So they can go together because they look a little bit similar. And that's done. I finished. Look at that. I wonder if I got them all right. Do you think I got them all right? I'll be right, Malcolm. Well, do you know, Claude, you've done really well. And I think, let me just check, you've got Eastwoods there, and that's Jeremy Irons, you didn't know him. And you've got Piers Brosnan, and you've got Boris in the right place, you've got Prince William in the right place, you've got Martin Kemp, I like your gold joke. And you've got, who's that next one there? That's Jude Law. Jude Law, the actor, and at the top there you've got David that. Beckham. You've got them all right, well done you. Oh, thank you, Malcolm. So Joseph was someone who trusted God and he obeyed God. He listened to what he said and he put it into action. And I've got an activity for us to do today that'll just give us a little bit of time to think and talk to God about what it means to trust and obey him. So for this, you're going to need some paper or card if you've got it. Card works better, but I don't have any, so I've just gone with paper. Uh, some pens, crayons, pencils. You need a ruler, scissors, and a pencil as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to write out the words trust and obey. Nice and big and bold. And then once you've done that, it's time to colour in. So get those crayons out, make it nice and bright. And then when you've done that, what we're gonna do is use this to make a puzzle. So you'll need your ruler and your pencil. And what we're gonna do is make lines across that we're gonna cut out to make jigsaw points. So I'm gonna do this one quite simple because my girls are quite young so we're going to go for some big pieces here but you could do them and um, you can make it really hard and go for small pieces and once you've done that so that's what mine looks like if you can see it okay so I've just got my different lines and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut out those parts and I'm going to keep going until I've got them all cut out like this. And then we've got a little puzzle here that we can put together and as we're doing it, we can talk with God about what it means to trust him and to obey him, what that looks like in our lives. And it's just a way to think and talk with God, to reflect with him. Or you could use it as a game as well with your family. You could get everyone together and you can maybe hide the pieces around the room and then see who can get all the pieces and put it back together in the quickest time. But it's just a way for us to spend a little bit of time out today thinking about trusting God and obeying Him. And when we talk with God, He hears us and He helps us as well. So if we struggle to do those things, if we struggle to trust him, if we struggle to do as he wants us to do, um, then we can ask him for help and he will help us. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Guys, I hope you've had a great time this morning learning all about Joseph and how he trusted God and obeyed him. Next week, it's time for Pathfinders to come for ABC Live. 
right here in the church building. We know you guys have waited for absolutely ages for it to be your turn. But it's time to book on, get your grown-ups to book you in before Wednesday evening at 7pm. That's when bookings close. Pathfinders is for anyone in year 6 to year 8. So you might have moved up groups since last time we met before the lockdown. So check that you're in the right group and get yourself booked in nice and early for us. See you next week.